Who is this man that started this radical revolution? This man who, with his last breath, cried out a prayer of forgiveness for his murderers. The same cry we heard from a man named Stephen as the last stones were thrown to take his life. While a man named Saul smirked at a job well done. But one blinding light rode later. This man would give up everything and later be known as the Apostle Paul. And even while in prison, would still sing of this radical love. 300 years later, a Roman soldier named Adrian was so stricken by the consistent strength, peace, and joy of the Christians that he had come to murder that he shocked his peers by suddenly proclaiming, put my name on this list of Christians. He was tortured and killed by the very men that promoted him. But men were not the only ones that Jesus called. Centuries later, a teenage girl would see him in a vision on a hillside. Joan of Arc went on to lead an army into battle and was killed at the age of 19, burned at the stake with a cross sewn into the front of her dress near her heart. William Tyndale could not just stand by as the message of Christ was hoarded by the aristocracy in England. He set out to translate the Bible into English so that the farm boy behind a plow could understand it. His last words were, Lord, open the eyes of the King of England. Florence Nightingale fought her way to the beds of wounded soldiers in battle and changed the face of health care with the love of Christ. Cried out for rescue with the story of Exodus, and Harriet Tubman led slaves secretly to their own promised land. All life was precious. Even the infants in Africa being killed at the hands of their own parents. Mary Slessor heard their cries all the way from Scotland and answered the call. In India, Amy Carmichael rescued over a thousand girls who had been sold into forced prostitution by Hindu priests. After she died, the children placed a bird bath over her grave marked with one word, Amma, mother. A Dutch family built a secret hiding place in their home to harbor the Jews during the Holocaust. From her sister's deathbed in a concentration camp, Corrie Ten Boom wrote, there is no pit so deep that God's love is not deeper still. While the Nazis continued to terrorize, a young German pastor named Dietrich Bonhoeffer left his studies in America, returning home into Germany to face evil head on. Bonhoeffer's life and writings would later inspire Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. to lead a movement of people to take a stand in yet another face of evil. He too would give his life for the cause of Christ and the dream they shared together. When Japanese forces invaded China, Gladys Aylward led over a hundred Chinese orphans to safety over the mountains while being injured herself. Mother Teresa spent her life at the bedsides of the poor, sick, abandoned, and dying, when asked why, she replied, as to my calling, I belong to the world. As to my heart, I belong entirely to the heart of Jesus. When Steve Saint was five years old, his missionary dad was murdered by the tribe he was trying to reach. And Steve went back to live with this tribe when he was only 10 years old. He befriended the man who killed his father and led him to Jesus. Ben Breedlove had a life-threatening heart disease. He cheated death four times, but before his fifth and final time facing death, he posted a video on YouTube about his encounters with God. His life and death offered up so others could know. He died on Christmas Day at age 18. Last year, a little girl named Malala was shot by the Taliban for speaking up for education for girls in Pakistan. We complain that we have to go to school. Malala writes about the privilege to get to go to school. How easily our perspectives are skewed with convenience. The legacy of faith we're called into. These are not fairy tale characters. These people are our family. A photo album of voices from the past and present. Calling us from individual comfort. To a collective calling. What part will we play? We are the next chapter in this story. We are God's plan to redeem this world. We don't just go to church. We go out there to be the church. Now we are the sinners becoming saints.
See the slave awaken to the dark.